Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize blue stacks and improve your FPS, fix all of your lags and stutter and make the experience more smoother. This will work on both Windows 10 and 11 in both low end and high end PC. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and once you're over here go down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Once you're done with that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this on. Game mode turned on will help you to gain extra FPS by turning things off in the background. Right beneath that you'll find graphic settings, click on that, head over to change default graphic settings and enable both hardware extra GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as this will help you to optimize your PC by utilizing your GPU to render the applications and games. As as well as reducing your input latency. Go back to graphics and then click on the browse button and you have to look for blue stacks. Just head over to the download folder, copy the folder path, head back to settings, click on browse and then paste this right over here. Once you did it, go down and then you'll find hdplayer.exe. Click on add and this will be added in this list. Head over to options, click on high performance and then click on save. Once that is done, close your settings. Step number two is deanimating windows and this is super simple yet super essential. Search for address the appearance and performance of windows and and once you're here, click on custom, click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All of this will help you to reduce the unwanted animations on your PC, meanwhile keeping the minimal look of your windows. Next step is right in the advanced section that is virtual memory, click on the change button and deselect automatically manage paging file size. For custom size, set this thing to 1361 and for the minimum size, you have to open up your calculator and multiply your total RAM with 1024. I have 32 GB RAMs so I have to multiply that with 1024 and the value that i get over here i have to divide this by two and then paste this value in the maximum size this is how you set your virtual memory which will help you to improve your system's performance once you're done with that simply close it next step is creating a register point and for that simply search for create a register point on your pc and once you're over here scroll down to local disk c click on create and name it blue stacks just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once you're done with that, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the BlueStacks emulator optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. And you can also join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Now, once you're over here, you'll find in five simple folders. The first one is RAM priority. Over here, you'll find a lot of presets. Now, I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to use this one. But it can be different for you, so you can double click and choose the RAM preset according to your PC. Go back, head over to CPU priority, and then I have an AMD CPU, so I need to double click and run the AMD CPU priority. It could be different for you. So if you have an Intel CPU, you can go and double click and run the Intel CPU priority. This will help you to increase your CPU priority and improve your CPU's performance. Once you're done with that, go back, head over to batch files and you'll find in three simple command files. First one is disable memory compression and this will basically disable memory compression. It will run a command on your PC and that will disable memory compression. Once again, you can right click and run this as administrator and that should do the task. Next is disable process mitigation right click and run this as administrator and this will run this command that you don't have to type in it will be automatically performed and that should be it last is latency tweaks and this will help you to reduce your gpu latency and also reduce your input latency once you're done running all of them as administrator head back and next folder is the nvidia gpu optimization once again if you have an nvidia graphics card do it otherwise skip this this will help you to disable energy driver power throttling and improve your nvidia sfio high priority if you have an amd gpu you can double click and run these two and that should be working but if you guys have an nvidia graphic card you can also run the sfio high priority and this will help you to optimize your nvidia graphic card last is the blue stacks priority in which i have left the high priority right click and run this as administrator this is super important because this will help you to increase the performance and allow blue stacks to consume more cpu resources in order to improve your performance once that is done simply close it and now open up blue stacks for the best application settings okay once you open up blue stacks you have to click on the three dots over here and then go down to settings in the performance tab you'll find cpu allocation set this thing to custom and then you'll find cpu cores over here now to set this core you have to search for system information on your pc over here you have to look for your processor now my processor is a 12 core processor and there are 24 logical processors it can be different for you so if you have a four core processor you have to set this thing to two if you have a six 
6 core processor you have to set this thing to 4 if you have an 8 core processor you have to set it to 6 and if you have a 12 core processor like me you can go with 8 full blown memory allocation i would recommend you guys to put it to enhanced or high as both of them will work great but if you have over 8 gb ram you guys can go with custom and set this thing to 15805 version with that for the performance mode set this thing to high performance don't forget to set your frame rate to 240 and once you're done with that click on save changes once blue stack opens up again click on the three dots again and then go over to settings Head down to display and make sure that you have a native resolution right over here. If your monitor is 1080p, go with 1920 by 1080. If you have a 4K monitor, go with 3840 by 2160. Pixel density should be set to medium or high. But if you have a super low end PC, go with low. Mouse cursor style, I would prefer blue stacks. And interface scaling should be set to 100%. Go down to graphics and over here use OpenGL. Interface renderer should be open. OpenGL and ASTC Texas Beta go with hardware decoding. If hardware decoding is not available, you can go with software decoding right over here. Now head to the preference tab over here and you'll find allow blue sticks to connect with discord. Disable this. Also disable ads during the gameplay. Save changes. Head over to phone and over here you'll find a predefined phone right away. I would recommend you guys to go with Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And the network provider go with Geo. It could be different for you guys. You can use the network provider according to your region. But for the device, go with S22 Ultra or any of the Samsung devices. Click on save changes. Once you're done with that, simply close your settings and now you can feel free to jump into the game and enjoy your blue stacks with the best settings possible. Alright guys, I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. We'll see you guys in another amazing video until then. Stay tuned. Keep watching Barry Fox and peace out.